Welcome. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. You are my fantastic audience, and this is the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. Today I'm going to draw some conclusions on my portable Linux laptop project and uh, where we are on that. As you know, I've set up this uh, HP laptop with uh, Andy's Ham Radio Linux, and I've done some, uh, some thoughts and, uh, and figured out a couple of things around that. So hang on after the intro and uh, we'll draw a couple of conclusions. So this is also part four in a series of uh, first two videos, then a live stream where I explain the concept and I test some digi modes and uh, how this computer with Linux is able to connect through the radio. So if, if you haven't seen the first three parts, it's up here. I'd recommend you to click on that playlist and see the first videos first. And as you've seen, I've set up different digi modes. I've set up uh, WSJTX, I've set up uh, GS8 Call, and I've tried a couple of things and everything seems to be working well. Uh, the last thing that was missing was a logger. And I have to admit, I haven't really found any good loggers on Linux that I, I really, really like. But since I'm using this portable, I'm going to use the same logger as I do when uh, doing Soda and Poda on my phone. When I'm logging on my phone, I'm going to use uh, Hammers, the Hammers app. There's a link for that down below. The reason for that, although it's missing cat control and, and some nice features, is that it's already set up with templates for Soda and Poda. And it gives you a nice map of the stations you're able to run when doing portable. So uh, that's why I'll be using hammers. And uh, besides that, I think everything's pretty much set up for what I use normally. I am going to wander a little bit into APRS territory after a while. Just got to figure out and experiment a little bit about that. I am going to wander into Winlink territory after a while. Just got to figure out how that works on Linux. And I'm going to take this thing out portable. It's just been so busy that I haven't done that. So um, there will be a final video of me doing Linux portable on this laptop in, uh, in hopefully a short time. Vacation time is coming up with a little bit more time to run portable operations. Also got a QDX that I'm uh, building this week, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to test the QDX with the Linux laptop. I'm thinking that could be a color combo when running digital modes portable. So would I do this again? Yes, I would. I most definitely would do Andy's Ham Radio Linux uh, on a laptop for portable use again. It's easy to install. Everything works. It comes with a bundle of uh, ham radio applications. This is a keeper. This halfway concludes this series. There are going to be some follow-ups on, on me using the laptop in, <laughs> in other videos, but this is a conclusion on if I'm able to run Linux portable or not. And the short answer is yes, I'm able to run Linux portable. I'm able to run Linux portable real, real fine. Uh, and it's going to be a keeper for portable use, for camping, for soda, for poda, wherever I want to do digital modes. And perhaps in the car, uh, if I get a mobile setup up and running. So please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my videos. There is more content coming up. And although the couple of last live streams have been no good, there are going to be more live streams in the near future. There, so please subscribe so you get the notifications on that. 7-3 and hope to see you again.